Uh, hey folks, so this video is to show you a modification I made to my uh, HVAC condensate line. Um, previously, this one I have two. I have two zones in my house. One's in the attic, and one is one's in the basement. I'm gonna show you the basement one just because it's easier. Um, typically, these these condensate lines have a uh, a trap that sits right here and there's a, a dip in it and that trap holds water uh, for negative pressure air handlers or positive pressure um, so that it doesn't suck or pull air through the trap uh, which is necessary for for the water to drain especially in negative pressure systems and uh, it's also a bit of an efficiency thing because it can't push or pull air through there thereby you don't want to push your your cold air or suck outside or condensation pump air into the, the air handler as well so you, you typically install these traps in them because they're cheap but they're they're um, historically a pain because they clog up they gunk up you've got to maintain them uh, in, in the attic one I had um, uh, the water and it didn't evaporate before the, the cold weather hit and it, it busted and, and leaked water all over my ceiling uh, the past winter uh, which prompted me to look for a better solution to that uh, since I didn't want to have to have that happen again and what I what I found on the internet um, were these waterless air traps and you can see it um, it has just a little golf ball or ping pong ball in them in this chamber there and when the negative pressure pulls for air from here it sucks the ball tight <clears throat> against um, against the uh, the housing and it stops the airflow but when water starts to fill up it's the pressure of the water is strong enough to move the ball away and let it drain while at the same time not letting air move through so I installed um, one of these in my attic and basement air handler system and they've been running all summer and working uh, perfectly uh, installing these things is not a hard job you just have to make sure that you um, get the right calculation the right drop um, from from the line to where the ball is installed to make sure that the water has enough force to move the ball based on how much air uh, the unit tries to draw um, but it's a pretty simple calculation. Actually, I was I emailed back and forth with the owner of the, the company that makes these units, and they helped me figure that out uh, based on the model air conditioner that I have um, and based on you know, the calculations that we did uh, and figured out how, how much drop I need to have here. Everything's been working perfectly. Uh, so if you're looking for a solution <coughs> to um, replacing J-traps, I, I highly recommend this this type of um, solution and uh, I'll post the the link to the, the unit in the description and I hope this helps